First of all, what, um, what's your name? My name is Shelley Roars. I'm the chair of the Spartanburg County Democratic Party. Well, nice to meet you off the record. <laughs> Very nice. I'm so happy. Um, what, is the, what is the primary reason that this group came out today? Well, Move On um, spurred a lot of interest in uh, a few of our, our local members. And uh, we, for those who couldn't get down to, Spar to Columbia for the, the budget, um, rally down in Columbia. We wanted to do something for those in Spartanburg. So this is specifically local to show the local uh, to show our politicians in Columbia that we actually care and we want them to um, not necessarily consider just budget cuts and consider other um, fair cuts all the way across the board. Well, I couldn't agree more. I would like to personally. I would like to see them looking at the defense budget where there's wastage with the same scrutiny that they're looking at anti-humanitarian stuff but um, well and again we, we we talk about budget cuts and continue to talk budget cuts after yeah. budget cuts and at some point there's nothing left to cut and when we go back to the same dollar amounts that we were using in 1985 mm. that to the, that are we're still educating our children with today at some point and i know this is a very hard conversation to have but we have to look at raising taxes, and we have to look at other ways to make, to bring in money. I agree with that myself. I, I, I mean, we have a war that we have yet to pay for. And how many wars do, have we ever had that have never had a war tax associated with them? Why? Why is it that this is so hard for people to understand? Well, what do you see the uh, midterm answer? In, uh, do you think do you think that there I see will our, be a groundswell? I think a, a midterm answer is actually our leaders being leaders yeah. and saying, you know what, you're right. This is a hard conversation to have, and I know people cannot afford. You know, there are certain people that can't afford raises in taxes. That we they cannot do it. But there are a portion of these people who are not paying their fair share. And they're also supporting very strongly the, the politicians that are pushing these cuts. Yes. So there's a vested interest in the politicians to go against the constituencies in general. But they, they, they get the money for to win the election, right? Mm -hmm. But they're not representing the majority of the people in a yeah. sense. They're not. They're, they're representing corporations. They're yeah. representing big business. And but aren't they also representing, representing the majority of the people that came to the polls? Isn't there a problem with that? Is, don't Are we they need representing the majority of the people that uh, well, you that say voted? They actually voted. Right. Um, well, is that a very good indication of the actual true feelings of the people? Here's their problem. And again, people don't want to talk about this, but how many people are actually not registered to vote in this country? How many people actually think that it is a, you know, it's a, it's not a responsibility? That boggles my mind that people actually think, you know, it's just, it, I don't need to vote, my vote doesn't matter. It turns out your vote does matter. Everybody's vote seems to matter because the people that voted got the people, they won these elections. And they won these elections essentially fair and square with big money. Mm -hmm. What we need to do is what? Organize better next time? People need to step up. We, again, you can organize and ask people to do it, but until they actually want to do it, we can't force them to register to vote. We cannot force them to go to the polls, um, but we can continue to educate them about what they are doing, Republicans are doing, and continue, and especially in South Carolina. For how many years have Republicans ruled the state house? Right. And all yeah. of the problems that we are in right now, not one, it is 100% because of the Republican majority. But the state is made up of, uh, of a lot more poor people than rich people. Mm -hmm. It seems to me there might be a, there might be a, a fruit, there might be fruit in organizing uh, regist voter registration drives and get we to do. the polls. We do that. We do with the League of Women Voters. We partner yeah. with the League of Women Voters. Um, we still do adopt a shop where beauty shops and barber shops are doing uh, registration programs. But, you know, I mean, DMV, if everyone that gets a driver's license, everyone, if you, as soon as you get your driver's license, you should be automatically registered to vote, period. 
Okay, and then to get to the poles is the next issue, yeah? Why is it that they have to actually go to the poles? I mean, why is it that technology cannot help us here with regards to voting online? I do all of my banking online. Yeah. I literally deposit a check, I take a picture of it with my phone, I deposit my check, and then I shred the check. I don't even go to a bank. If I can do that securely, why can't I vote online? In South Carolina, can you, uh, can you vote absentee like that? Um, not online, no. But you, you can you go can. in person, you can do a mail-in application. Um, yeah. Obviously, the, the military has that as well, but no, yeah. no voting online at all. Well, my mother voted absentee last time. She's blind and lives over here in White Oaks. And um, it wasn't much easier than just taking her down to vote. So you think one thing you could push for would be a online voting uh, statewide? Well, if it's, a, if it's not online voting, that, that's going to be hard. It really is. But making it more convenient, why is it that we have to go downtown or to our precinct? Why can't we vote in the mall or in the grocery store or in the post office? Or places that I visit every single day, why can't we have a polling place there? Or the Macedonia Street? Fire Station in Cherokee County, where I do. Well, I drive five miles to the this place. It's okay, I have a car. But my mother couldn't. She's blind and old. So, I, you know, I agree with you. And what I'll do, where's your office and how can I come down in the... Uh, Democratic Party headquarters is located at 275 East Henry Street here in downtown East Spartanburg. Are you there every day? Volunteers are manned from, uh, man the headquarters Monday through Friday from 11 to 1. Monday to Friday, 11 to 1. Yes. And so if someone were interested in getting involved, they would see and, and ask for who? They can... Anybody that's a volunteer that's there, that's at the office, they can ask any of them. They can call for me, Shelly or Helen. Um, you, Shelly or Helen. Your name again I'm is? Shelly Roars. You're Shelly Roar. Roars, just like a lion. Roar. Very good, Shelly. Thank you so much. Good. Thank I'll, you. I'll come and see you myself. I hope so. Hi, Shelly.